Hello everybody. Thanks for joining me today. So I thought I would give a try to this whole voiceover business. Excuse me while I learn to use the internets here. Um, how does one internet? Hold on while I figure it out. May take a while. Anywho, I'm just trying. I've had a few comments on people saying that the sound has been a little crappy. I do apologize for that. I don't have a mic set up or anything yet. I'm just doing everything off my iPhone. So I thought I would try this voiceover and see if that helps a little bit. So what we're working on today here, I've got a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. As you can see, I've got a split color base down and the white is just a titanium white mixed in with a little bit of pearl blue and pearl green to give it just a little bit of extra the brown you can see is raw umber mixed with a little bit of black and then i also add in a little bit of copper just to really give it some depth and richness and make it just beautiful and give it a little bit of shimmer so i've got my colors there down as you can see now what i'm doing is i'm actually just practicing with my blow dryer as to how I want to blow this out. I absolutely recommend to you guys that you do this if you haven't before. It makes a big, big difference to plan it out. Go through the motions, get that muscle memory built up so that when you do go do it, you've done it a bunch of times, it's not feeling awkward or weird. Now here what I'm doing is I'm testing which way I like better to hold the blow dryer. So as you could see on those last two, I was holding it kind of coming straight at it. This time I'm holding it sort of upside down and you can see the difference there, right? The upside down one did not spread the colors out near as much as holding it straight on. So I'm adding a bit more color here to redo that and hopefully it'll be a little less awkward as well. And what I really should have done was flipped the painting around so that it would be a little less awkward for me in the hand motion. So the colors as well today that I was using, the first color I put down is Amsterdam's greenish blue mixed in with a little bit of Artist's Loft metallic cobalt blue. Then the lighter blue is by Liquitex Professional and it is permanent light blue. And then I had some graphene, graphite, excuse me, by Amsterdam. And then the last color was gold uh, by Amsterdam as well. All my paints, as usual, are only mixed with distilled water. That's it. I don't ever add anything else to my paints, ever, ever, ever. Even for other techniques that I do, just paint and water. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm so damn sick of people that use all this other crap in their paints. What the hell are you guys doing? Like dildo lube? Seriously? Give me a fucking break. That's gross. Do you guys not understand what that's going to do to your painting chemical wise in a few years? That is going to have a reaction. I don't care how well you clean the silicone off your paints. It has a reaction. I've actually got a painting that I did quite a few years ago with silicone. I did a coat of Liquitex gloss varnish on top to seal it in just to see and now it's been a few years and you can absolutely see so i'll make a video of what happened to that painting years down the road because for any of you who sell your work or are looking at selling your work or are getting into a gallery or anything like that you can't use stuff like that real good professional galleries will not allow those products and i've talked to multiple galleries and one of the first things they do is ask you what your ingredients are what did you use what are your mediums what is every single thing that you have used in your painting and i asked one owner of a gallery why they asked that question specifically and he actually related it to pouring and he said there's a lot of people doing pouring right now and we have no problem selling that kind of work it's beautiful and, and it goes quickly however people use a lot of things in their paints to get certain results uh, like the bloom pour for example and those things have long-term really negative chemical effects and a lot of galleries will not put their names on that they will not sell it because of what's going to happen in a few years from now so be careful some of the new more modern galleries are starting to accept works that have you know silicone and and all these other things in them but it's hit and miss for which galleries will and won't and i mean personally if you're going to sell something i don't want it 
falling off the wall or, or having something horribly gross happen to it, you know, in the next few years. And then all of a sudden get a call from a client three years later being like, um, what the fuck happened to my painting? It's gross. So I would really, you know, look up research archival properties and, you know, just get a good understanding of that. Cause that's the last thing in the world anybody wants as an artist is to have somebody call you back years later and what happened to my painting and you know, demand their money back or something like that, or they could go and talk trash, who knows? Definitely don't want that though. So here, as you can see, I've just been fussing around. My original thought on this painting was to do the four lines, but then once I finished it, I really just, it wasn't working for me. And as I sat there looking at it and fiddling with it and playing and playing, trying to get it to where I liked, I just kept getting this vision of a peacock feather, like the big tail once it's bunched out. And especially with the gold in there and the blues, I really just thought, you know what, let's go for it. At this point, I'm not happy. Let's do a chaos pour, use up the rest of my colors, got lots of paint left, and let's just try and make it like a great big peacock tail. And I think I kind of achieved what I was, what I was going for here. Once this painting is dried and cured, I will certainly do some embellishments on it. Uh, I'm still trying to kind of figure out exactly what I want to do, but I think I am going to start with doing sort of a gold wash in certain places, um, really just to try and pop some more of that gold out, uh, and then maybe even <clears throat> do some sort of stenciling work on it, maybe with some feather, like to sort of outline the feathers a little bit more. I'm not sure. I'm still uh, still thinking on it. It's still a work in progress. If you guys have any ideas at all, please, please leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, if there's something that somebody says and I like the idea, I will certainly shout you out in my next video for your comment if I use your ideas. But I would love to hear what you guys think. And let me know about this voiceover business too as I, uh, you know, learn the old internets here and try and figure it out. And for those of you that paint like this as well, even if you're not posting your posting your works onto any kind of social media platforms, I would highly, highly recommend giving a shot at just recording your work. I have grown so much and learned so much just by watching myself and seeing my mistakes that I made, seeing how I did certain things that I like, that I don't like, and it's just wonderful. Okay, so here is the piece a couple of days later. Not all the way dry yet, but it's getting there. And I am loving how much that gold popped out. I thought it would really be a lot more subtle, but it's it's really popping out in there. I'm really pleased with how that uh, turned out. It is drying very well. Still definitely thinking about doing uh, the gold wash though. Um, maybe kind of outlining some feathers into this. I don't know. I've got so many ideas, but I'm just, I can't land on one for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you do have some thoughts, please, please, please leave them below. I am struggling looking for some ideas here. As always, please help me fight that damn YouTube algorithm monster. The best way you can help out by that, make sure you're subscribed, have your notifications turned on, smash that like button and share for me if you would.